Can you imagine being restricted to only 28 government-approved haircuts, risking arrest for choosing any other style? Envision a life without social media and free internet access. Imagine being happy for finally having access to some 3G cellular data and this, in case you get the chance to ever own a laptop. But did I say internet? I meant intranet. Yes, an intranet connection, you heard that right. Only 28 websites can be accessed online, and every single one of them is meticulously controlled by the government. Now, consider the reality of living in 2023 North Korea, where these restrictions exist. Let's take a closer look at North Korea, a country that holds both poverty and power in an intricate balance. To understand how North Korea evolved into its current state, we must trace back to the aftermath of World War II, when the division of Korea led to the establishment of separate governments in the North and South. After World War II, the Korean Peninsula was liberated from Japanese occupation, but it became a focal point of tension between the Soviet Union and the United States. In 1945 the peninsula was divided at the 38th parallel into two separate occupation zones, the North, administered by the Soviet Union and the South, under U.S. administration. This division laid the groundwork for the establishment of separate governments in the two regions. The Korean War from 1950 to 1953 solidified their separate entities with distinct political and economic systems. The South experienced the establishment of a democratic government under Syngman Rhee, with support from the United States. The Republic of Korea, South Korea, was declared in 1948, adopting a market-oriented economy and promoting private enterprise and industrialization. In contrast, in the North, Kim Il-sung emerged as a powerful leader and established a communist regime with support from the Soviet Union. He centralized power and cultivated a cult of personality, solidifying his rule over the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea, in 1948. In stark reality, North Korea stands today as one of the poorest countries in the world. Its revenue per capita is very low. In 2021, it was estimated to be $1,423, 1.42 million South Korean won. This is about 3.5% of the revenue per capita in South Korea, which was $40,482, 40.48 million South Korean won, in 2021. Ranking 178th out of 193 countries in the world in terms of revenue per capita. According to the World Food Program, a staggering 6 million out of the country's 25 million people are in urgent need of food aid. In another aspect of North Korea's reality, the average life expectancy within the nation stands at 69 years. This figure places North Korea among the countries with one of the lowest life expectancies worldwide. The factors contributing to this lower life expectancy can be attributed to various social, economic and healthcare challenges faced by the population. In a remarkable display of state control, North Koreans find themselves subject to a unique regulation that governs their hairstyles. Within the borders of the country, individuals are required to adhere to one of the 28 approved haircuts sanctioned by the authorities. This regulation extends to gender-specific guidelines as well. Unmarried women are expected to maintain short hair, adhering to a prescribed length, while married women enjoy a broader range of hairstyle options. So how can a country in such need of aid have a powerful global influence? Firstly, North Korea benefits from a very strategic geopolitical location. North Korea's position in Northeast Asia places it at the crossroads of major powers, making it a crucial player in regional geopolitics. Situated between China, South Korea, Japan and Russia, its actions and alliances carry significant implications for the broader region. Being bordered by China, on its northern border, creates both opportunities and challenges for North Korea. Historically, China has been an essential ally and trading partner for North Korea providing economic aid and support. The two countries share a long history of cultural, economic, and political ties. However, this proximity also means that North Korea is heavily influenced by China's regional and global interests. Renowned as one of the most isolated countries on Earth, it stands as a fortress, cut off from the global community, with limited trade and diplomatic relations with the outside world. Behind its tightly guarded borders, North Korea exercises strict control over the movements of its citizens, leaving a colossal question mark hanging over the source of its revenue. The nation's internal financial landscape remains a puzzle, shielded from prying eyes and cloaked in secrecy. Trade, a lifeline for many nations, is tightly restricted within North Korea's borders. However, North Korea's nuclear weapons program is one of the most advanced in the world. It has conducted six nuclear tests, most recently in 2017. It is estimated to have a stockpile of 2040 nuclear weapons, and it is developing a variety of delivery systems, including ballistic missiles and aircraft. The potential use of North Korea's nuclear weapons in case of war is an extremely concerning and dangerous prospect. North Korea's nuclear weapons program has been a source of international tension and instability for many years. 
In a deeply concerning development, North Korea's relentless pursuit of nuclear weapons and the means to deliver them, has positioned the country as a significant threat not only to neighboring South Korea and Japan but also to the United States. Analysts' estimates suggest that North Korea may possess the materials required to produce over 100 nuclear weapons, an alarming arsenal that underscores the regime's dedication to nuclear proliferation. To compound the gravity of the situation, North Korea has successfully conducted missile tests capable of reaching the United States with a nuclear warhead, further intensifying the global apprehension surrounding its nuclear ambitions. Adding to the worrisome scenario, North Korea boasts the world's fourth-largest military, comprising a staggering force of over 1.2 million personnel. It is also suspected of possessing chemical and biological weapons, heightening concerns about the potential breadth and scale of its destructive capabilities. But there is more to it. In a world where scrolling and digital exploration have become second nature to most, citizens of North Korea are prohibited from accessing foreign news sources, ensuring the regime's control over the dissemination of information remains unchallenged. A network of informants, embedded within the fabric of society, diligently monitors their fellow citizens, reporting any inkling of criminal or subversive behavior, thereby perpetuating an atmosphere of constant surveillance and fear. Unsanctioned access to non-state radio or television broadcasts is met with severe punishment, discouraging any attempts to seek alternative perspectives. Forget about the plethora of streaming platforms available elsewhere, North Korea offers a mere quartet of state-owned television channels. From daytime till prime time, these channels captivate audiences with programs carefully crafted to uphold the regime's ideology. Among them, athletic television takes the stage, showcasing sports competitions involving North Korean athletes, unveiling documentaries, and shedding light on the proud history of sports within the nation's borders. In this austere reality, the absence of a modern, independent judicial system remains evident. The lack of a fair and impartial legal framework poses significant challenges to justice and the protection of individual rights within the nation. Furthermore, the majority of property within North Korea belongs to the state, as individual ownership is limited. This centralized control further exemplifies the unique nature of the country's economic and social structure. Lastly, the notion of religious freedom remains non-existent within North Korea. The state exercises tight control over religious practices, imposing restrictions that curtail the freedom to worship and express religious beliefs. Moreover, tourists' phones undergo stringent checks upon entry, and any religious materials, including books or documents, are strictly prohibited from entering the country. In another display of force and control over its citizens, the government has developed the three-generation punishment rule, which is a policy in North Korea, commonly known as the Sippenhof system, where not only the individuals directly involved in a perceived crime or political offense but also their family members, including parents, children, and grandchildren, may face punishment and guilt by association. This policy is part of the country's strict control measures to deter dissent and maintain loyalty to the regime. Political prisoners and those deemed disloyal to the regime are often sent to forced labor camps, known as Kwanliso. These camps are notorious for their harsh conditions and human rights abuses. The three-generation punishment rule remains a controversial and heavily criticized aspect of North Korea's political system, as it violates principles of individual responsibility and human rights. In conclusion, the region's geopolitical complexities create opportunities for North Korea to leverage its location for diplomatic negotiations and economic cooperation. However, it also places the country at the center of global concerns regarding nuclear proliferation, human rights, and regional security. North Korea's strategic location in Northeast Asia grants it a prominent role in regional affairs. Its proximity to major powers like China, South Korea, Japan and Russia gives it both advantages and challenges, making its actions and alliances influential in shaping the broader dynamics of the region.